everyone. Hi, apologies for the angle. I've currently got you propped up on my laptop. Um, <laughs> I'm out of breath, I've just run up the stairs with my cup of tea. Um, the kids are at break, so I thought I would quickly fill you in on this absolute kicker of a week and why I haven't been able to film this week. <sighs> Where do I even start? So Monday was absolutely hectic. We had the electrician here um, doing bits and bobs in the kitchen, wiring everything in, sorting the lighting. It's all looking really good. Um, so I will show you that later when I finish work. Um, but it was just a hectic day, so I didn't film anything and I thought, oh, I'll film tomorrow. Um, but then having the builders in the house, there's just so much noise all the time and they started tiling this week. Um, so there was the tile cutter and sort of banging the tiles in and lots of just noise and it's difficult to film when there are people in the house and then on Tuesday when I finished work the wedding venue got into contact with us again I think I briefly mentioned it in last week's vlog um, but they were pushing us to postpone again I might make a second video all about this just like a tea time with Chloe just updating everyone with the wedding um, but um, I then spent the entire afternoon negotiating with them and trying to get into contact with all of our suppliers. And thankfully we have a date now for August 2022 um, for a vow renewal. So instead of um, it just being sort of like a pointless party that we've paid a lot of money for or a wedding, it's actually going to be like a normal wedding day, but it's gonna be a vow renewal. So we'll be able to have the big day that we've planned and paid for and looked forward to hopefully by summer 2022 with our full guest list the proper bridal party and groom's party and hopefully it'll be a totally normal day by then um to celebrate two years of marriage and have a vow renewal with everyone we love and then on wednesday got a phone call to say that somebody in my family has tested positive for covid and i don't like talking about other people's business in my videos because it's not it's not my, it affects me, obviously it is my business, but it's not, when it's about someone else, I just don't really like sharing it. So it is somebody who's been involved in the kitchen. So they have been in my house in the last week and on Wednesday they tested positive for COVID. So <laughs> we are now in a self-imposed self-isolation until the end of the weekend. We haven't been officially contacted by Track and Trace. Um, I think it's because they were only here for a matter of minutes with a face mask on and everything. So um, I think that's maybe why we haven't been flagged. Um, but because of me being vulnerable and obviously wanting to do the right thing, we are in a self-imposed self-isolation until the end of the weekend. Um, you're meant to isolate if you get contacted by track and trace you're meant to isolate for 10 days from the last day you saw the person but as you can tell i am really short of breath and my chest is tight and i am like struggling to get a full breath in i feel a bit croaky and i i do feel like i i don't feel 100 percent. so that's why we're self-isolating just in case because i am worried that in a couple of days i might come down with it um which is terrifying because I've spent the whole of like the last year protecting myself from this and avoiding it. And I'm literally like a month or two away from probably being vaccinated. And now I've come into contact with um, somebody who has it. Um, and then on top of worrying about my own health, obviously I'm extremely worried about them. Like I, I can barely even think about it without getting upset. Um, and everyone they live with as well. So yeah, um, I'm very stressed, I'm very anxious. I've got this really important hospital appointment on Monday. Um, if I'm okay by the end of the weekend, then I'm probably, fingers crossed, gonna be okay. And then I can go to my appointment. To top it all off, today um, I had a phone call from my mum asking me if I could take their dog to the vet because um, Ruby hasn't been very well for a long time. She's been being treated for Cushing's disease for quite a long time, but she's just deteriorating. They can't seem to get a handle on it. They think that maybe there's something else going on as well, but they haven't been able to figure out what. For the last two days, she's refused to eat and is just quite hunched over, isn't very well. And so I think we are coming to the end. And I just 
can't deal with anymore. Okay, so you'll have to excuse the mess on the sides because we are still sorting stuff out and some of the builders mugs and stuff have been washed and put on the windowsill and there's stuff all in the utility but we'll go with it so this is where we currently are with the kitchen obviously like i said we've had to halt progress because of a potential covid contact um but this wall has got a coat of paint on it it needs to be um, painted again once all the tiling and everything is all done and um, it got a little bit scuffed while they were starting to do the tiles and things so we figured it wasn't worth doing another coat until that was all finished and the same with these walls they will be painted when everything else is done but we have coving now so there's coving all around um, the main kitchen and dining area which will obviously be painted again once everything's done um, and we've also got spotlights, so I'll switch those on for you because they are super bright. So these are our spotlights. I think they're set to be warm white at the moment, but you can actually pull the little contraption down out of the ceiling and um, change them to cool white or like proper sort of daylight um, bulbs. Um, we've also started the tiling of the floor. That was where they finished um, last Wednesday when they had to stop. Um, these are just tiles from B&Q, they weren't super expensive but um, we're happy with them. I feel like they look quite nice with the cupboards and everything um, and they are, um, they've sort, sort of like a marble effect, they've got like a vein running through them and as you can see from the light reflecting in them, they look fairly matte when they're just on the floor like that um, but they do have a shine to them and they're going to go all the way out into the utility space the washing machine was pulled out ready to tile underneath it and then obviously that did not happen <laughs> um so we are left without a washing machine at the moment but it will be sorted out as soon as they can come back um like i said the utility is currently covered in stuff that needs to be put away um but i have started putting some things away so in here i'll have my cloths and um, the builders chucked a load of rubbish in there that they found um i'll have my cleaning cloths in there We've got um, washing stuff specifically in this cupboard because obviously the washing machine will be there. All of the protein shakes and protein shakers are down there so that they're not clogging up a space in the kitchen. And I've also got my sharps bin for my Crohn's medication and all of our medicines in the back of that cupboard. 
Um, the tiles will go through to the toilet as well. We've got a little heater here now, which has all been wired in. Um, and again, this all needs another coat of paint because as you can see, it's patchy. We've got sockets and everything in down here now. The radiator's all working. Um, and I think in terms of new things that you might not have seen, that's pretty much it. All of the um, appliances are wired and plumbed in now. So like the oven is all wired in and we can use it whenever we want. Um, same as the dishwasher. That will be pulled out to be tiled underneath um, and then put back. But while they're not working, we can use it all. We've put a bunch of stuff back in here now um, to get it out of the living room. But the living room is still full of stuff. There's so much to sort out. Um, but I might start trying to sort out the cleaning cupboard because like I say, that one probably doesn't need, they probably don't need access to it now, I guess. Um, and all of our cleaning stuff is currently over there. So we're getting there, aren't we, Archie? And then I'm not sure if I showed you these, but we went to Topps Tiles to try and pick out some tiles for the walls. Um, but they didn't have the ones that we wanted in stock. They also weren't open for browsing, understandably. This is a tile, you can't have it. Um, so we went online to try and order the ones we wanted into store and they didn't have them. And the only other thing that they had was like a cream sort of tile like this. So we went to B&Q and they had virtually the same thing. Um, so we've picked up a bunch of these to be our like backsplash around all of our countertops. And I feel like they're a little bit too close to the colour of the cabinets. I think it's just going to end up looking maybe a little bit too much cream. But at the same time, we are trying to keep it as light as possible. Um, I feel like it's going to look nice. I just feel like it might be a little bit, I don't know, maybe a little bit boring. But um, once all our stuff's in here, I think it will be fine. Hello everyone, it's lunchtime on Wednesday and you are currently in the glasses cupboard of the kitchen. This is the brightest room in the house um, and I'm about to warm up some baguettes for our lunch that I got from the shop and I thought I would just give you a little update because I have not been filming really at all pretty much since Christmas. I've been very on and off with filming but um, I've had a couple of messages asking why the vlogs aren't going up every Monday um, and asking for updates, like if we're okay, and a couple of people saying they missed the vlogs, so I need to sort myself out and, and film. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give you a little update. So, like I say, it's Wednesday. We are out of self-isolation. Um, thankfully, Touchwood, we still seem okay, everyone involved. Um, in the potential COVID contact is fine. It's just one household that is poorly. Um, and although it's not a nice virus to catch at all and they all are feeling really rubbish, um, thankfully they're all breathing okay, thank God. And hopefully they can just ride it out and they'll be all right. Um, anyway, because um, we were in self-isolation for a while. Um, I wasn't able to go out for my daily walks or anything. So I just felt like my days had like no routine whatsoever. And it's been a real struggle to feel motivated to do anything. And I posted about it on my Instagram yesterday and I had about 70 messages in the end from people saying that they all felt exactly the same. They were finding this lockdown so much harder than either of the other two. Um, so I know it's, it's definitely not just me. Um, and if you are feeling like that, then I'm sending you a big virtual hug because I am feeling the same. Um, but yeah, update. So I've had my hospital appointment this week. Sorry, I'm just keeping an eye on what the dogs are doing. I've had my hospital appointment this week um, to do with the lump on my neck and my swollen lymph nodes. And the consultant at the hospital is adamant that it's absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, but I still am worried because of how I've been feeling in general. So it's something that I'm going to continue to monitor and I'm not afraid to go back to the hospital again if I need to. Winnie is doing okay. I've actually lowered her CBD a tiny little bit because now she's on painkillers as well. 
Um, I felt like the CBD was making her really groggy. I'll lift her up so you can say hi. Here she is. Um, yeah, I just felt like the CBD was making her really groggy um, and that I was maybe giving her too much of it. And since I lowered it slightly, literally only a little bit, um, she's been a lot more awake and active during the days again. So I think it was the CBD that was causing her to slow down a little bit. Are you like a girl? Archie is all good. Um, we haven't done any more work on the kitchen yet. The builders haven't been back yet because um, we just wanted to wait, you know, longer than we had to um, until we could have it all clear to come back and start work again but like i say um they all seem to be absolutely fine touch wood we are fine um so hopefully it'll be all good now and we can carry on with the work but it has really brought all of this home to me and when the builders do come back it will be with tougher restrictions i think um on both sides so i will be like thoroughly disinfecting everything at the end of every day. Um, we'll make sure that they absolutely use different toilets, which we've been doing anyway, but it's just, I want to make sure that we're definitely doing those things. I haven't even used our new downstairs toilet yet because that's the one that the builders were using when they were here. So I literally haven't even used it yet. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna cook our lunch. <laughs> everyone do excuse my hair and the mess in the background the work on the kitchen is still paused so um everything is still a complete mess unfortunately it should have been finished by now but covid um hopefully they'll be able to start again next week anyway moving on anyway i am about to go on a walk with Will and the dogs, hence my hair. It needs something doing with it, but I'm about to put a hat on and then I'm gonna wash it later, so what's the point? Um, but it's a lovely sunny day and tomorrow it's meant to snow. So um, we're gonna have a nice long walk today and then I will probably go out for a nice long walk again tomorrow as well if it snows. I feel like my life now just kind of revolves around work and when I can next go on a walk, <laughs> like I found those days of self-isolation really hard because we didn't, even though we, legally didn't have to isolate we weren't contacted by track and trace um i just felt like we should um so i didn't want to break any rules so i, I didn't even go out for walks when we were self-isolating and i really struggled um and speaking of struggle just because i feel like it's something that should be normalized i've also self-referred for some counseling um and i've received my first like assessment appointment already so i'm really pleased with that um i just feel like I don't have anyone to talk to at the moment um, or process how I'm feeling about everything, um, the miscarriage and my health and everything. I just feel like I've been forgotten about really, being totally honest with you. Um, life is so hard for everyone at the moment that people are struggling to be there for each other. Um, people really underestimate how much a like thinking of you message or how are you doing message you know they really underestimate the power of it and it would be nice to have somebody to talk to and feel like somebody cares um so i am going to pursue having some counseling because i think it's going to be really helpful um and i would encourage anyone who is struggling with anything to do the same thing i literally only waited a couple of days before they sent me my assessment appointment so that's good i literally have nothing to show you or share with you apart from the fact that i am on the struggle train at the moment so i'm sorry but we're gonna go out for a walk in a minute and that'll be nice seeing as all i've done is just talk at you <laughs> in this video and the work on the kitchen is still paused i thought i would show you some of my project life album that i've been working on 
Now all of these pages have a process video, I think. I filmed a process video for this double page spread, which was for June. Um, and then I haven't uploaded it, but I've got the footage, so I will upload that at some point. I You might see this vlog before you see this process video, but I love how this one turned out for June. And then there are a few pages that I didn't actually film. So um, I sat down and did a few pages last night. Um, this is actually folded over because there are pictures on the other side of these um, with my proper wedding dress. And I still am gonna get to wear that. Um, we're having a vow renewal now. I can't remember if I've actually properly talked about it. If I have, then I won't chat about it more now, but there'll probably be a life update tea time with Chloe video at some point um but yeah so these are some pictures from July okay so the two pictures up there are of my wedding dress but this is when I sort of like went back to normal a little bit um after starting my new medication and preparing to come out of shielding collected my wedding dress went on a food shop for the first time since like January <laughs> Some masks my mum made, their doggies. Because at this point, we were allowed to see people inside their house in groups of six. So I was able to spend time with my family in their house in the summer. And then I did this page as well. And I wanted to challenge myself to do something a little bit out of my comfort zone in terms of colours. Um, so I've got sort of like a different colour match in here and a lot of black. Um, and I'm not 100% keen on how it turned out to be honest but it's another page done so that's fine and this was like the day before the wedding so the next pages are of the wedding so I've done this little page of the morning that we got married and then that's where I got up to I haven't done any of the rest of it yet I've still got so much to do in this album I've got a couple of pages for the wedding then for the honeymoon I did um document this already with one of the lollipop box club boxes for a design team project um but yeah then I've got the rest of August we went on a camping trip for my birthday and then we go into September and I think September only has one spread and then we go into October and October has a bunch as well because I loved all my pumpkin photos so I have like a whole page and a bit just for pumpkin photos and we got Winnie's diagnosis so then there's a bunch of photos of ticking things off on Winnie's bucket list so there's a bunch of spreads that are like pretty much just about Winnie there's her birthday and then this is the end of October so again there's a bunch of spreads for October and then we go into November documenting the US election obviously. I feel like I might try and document these next because this was obviously when I found out that I was pregnant and in hindsight having had a miscarriage these are just really hard to look at. Um, hopefully one day they won't be but for now they really are and um, I don't want that to be the last thing that I document in this album because I've already documented December. I had all my Christmas stuff out from doing December Daily and I really wanted to just get all of the Christmas stuff packed away again. So I went ahead and completed all of my December pages. So I feel like maybe the best thing to do would be to um, go back and do that November page next so that it's not the last thing that I have to face in this album. So yeah, I might do those November pages next and then go back to lovely happy wedding photos in the summer. But yeah, I just wanted to give you an update on my project life. A few people have asked if I'm still doing project life because I haven't uploaded any videos recently. And yes, I am. I'm slowly plowing through it, but I just haven't been filming all of my pages because I've been scrapping a lot in the evenings. Um, I'm not not showing you that wedding dress <laughs> I literally haven't shown anyone except my bridesmaids and my mum <laughs> um but yeah
steady. Are you steady? Go! Oh, you didn't even go in the snow. Oh, no, you do. <laughs> oh. Archie. Is it good? Hi everyone, sorry this is a bit of a funky angle, I'm just getting the dogs ready to go out for a walk. Um, but I wanted to hop on because I haven't filmed since last weekend I don't think. Um, I basically took this week off filming, um, I was just feeling really down and didn't really have anything to share with you. I was basically just like talking at you constantly and not showing you anything or doing anything and I know that's essentially what I'm doing right now but obviously I want to come on and sort of close the vlog off and update you on what's happened this week. Archie's just come to sit with me but now he's going to try and run away because he hates having anything put over his head. Um, he hates having his harnesses and jumpers put on. He's a good boy. You okay? Do you want to go for a walk? We've got to put our jumper on. That's a good boy. Good boy, so brave. Um, so yeah, I took last week off because I was feeling a bit rubbish um, because the work was gonna start again on the kitchen and we were really looking forward to it. We were out of self-isolation. Um, you probably have guessed by now, but it was my family that came down with COVID. Um, thankfully, they're all now much recovered. They've come through it okay and um we didn't get it um and my dad's employees didn't get it so the work was due to start again on the kitchen and then um on sunday morning we went out on that lovely snowy walk me and archie um which i think i filmed it's probably the last thing that you saw in this video before this and um i came home and my phone pinged and i was told to self isolate again for 5 days because somebody I had seen five days before at my hospital appointment had tested positive. So the hospital was the only place that I had been. Um, so it was somebody from my hospital appointment had tested positive. I hadn't even been um, to a shop or anything in those five days. Thankfully, because the appointment was five days prior to getting the notification, I did only have to isolate for another five days, um, which took me until Thursday night, according to the app. So on Friday morning, I was out of isolation again, but I'm sure you can imagine that isolating for a week, having four-ish, five days of freedom, being able to go out for walks and stuff, going to one hospital appointment and then having to isolate again was just really hard and not being able to go out on my walks again for a second time was really hard and mentally it just affected me. I just haven't felt good, haven't really been up to much at all. Um, but it's fine, it's now Sunday and on Friday, because I was out of isolation, um, the builders were able to come and do loads of like last minute um, finishing touch sort of things to the kitchen. So um, the floor has been grouted and um, it looks amazing. So I'll show all of this. Um, the floor has been grouted. We've got a door frame around the toilet door now. Um, there were a few cupboard doors that were damaged when they unpacked them to put all the cabinets up. So we've got our replacement doors now and they're all on. Um, the um, skirting boards are all on now. So all of this woodwork and everything will need painting. So it doesn't look great now, but it will once we've painted it. Um, and the last like big thing that they need to do is tile the walls around the cabinets um, as like the splashback. So I think that they're gonna do that this week and then finally it will be for the most part finished and we can crack on with painting it all properly and getting everything back in the cupboards and moving the table in there and moving my dresser in there and I'm so excited. Yeah, I've just been feeling a bit blah and I know that a lot of other people have. Um, it's time of the month, so I've been up since 4am with horrendous stomach cramps. 
I've had my hot water, no, not hot water, my microwave hotty thing on my tummy all morning. Um, dosed up with paracetamol. I'm going out for this walk to try and see if a bit of light exercise helps because I know they say that that can sometimes help. But I am just feeling really quite rubbish. Um, obviously as well, like I should have been well into my second trimester of a pregnancy now and coming on your period is a reminder that you're not. So I'm sorry that that's TMI, but that is just how I am feeling at the moment. I'm not feeling great. I did have some really amazing news yesterday. Um, obviously it's not a pregnancy because I have currently got period cramps. Um, so please don't get ahead of yourself and think I'll be announcing a pregnancy in a couple of weeks. I won't be, unfortunately. Um, but it is to do with some sort of baby. So yeah um but i want to wait another couple of weeks before i officially share anything because anything can happen at this point um so yeah there's bright spots in there but we're struggling a lot will's really fed up as well um of the lockdowns and everything now and of working from home um as am i every day just feels like groundhog day you know you just do the same thing every single day there's nothing to break it up like other than going for a walk in a different place. There's just nothing to break it up. And because my family had COVID and then I had to isolate again after going for my hospital appointment, I don't even really want to like go and meet up with one person for a dog walk or anything anymore because I just feel like I'm gonna have to isolate again or I'm gonna expose myself to it again. I've heard nothing about my vaccine yet. So I just, I don't know, I'm just really fed up now, but I am feeling a bit better this, like this end of this week that I was um, last week. So I'll finish this vlog and edit it and put it up tomorrow and you'll finally have a weekly vlog again. <laughs>